Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to learn what is a prochiral center and why do we use ray and psi notation and how do we exactly assign ray and psi notation. So first of all, let us understand what is a prochiral center. So a prochiral center A prochiral center is an achiral center. Achiral means which is optically inactive. Okay, it is optically inactive or achiral, and it becomes chiral. It becomes chiral in a single step of a chemical reaction. In a single step of a chemical reaction. So, what is the simplest meaning of this? Prochiral center is initially achiral or optically inactive, and it later on becomes chiral in after one single step of a chemical reaction. So, let us understand this with the help of an example. So, here you can see uh, this is the Prochiral center. Why this is alkyl? Because you know here this carbon. We had seen how to find out the hybridization in organic compounds. You have to count the number of sigma bonds. You have to count the number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pair that is not involved in resonance. Okay, I have already provided the video. You can watch the video if you have not seen this video. Lone pair not involved in resonance. Okay, this is the formula for finding the hybridization in organic compounds. So for this carbon, there are how many sigma bond? This is sigma, this is pi, this is one more sigma, sigma. So how many sigma bond? Three. So the hybridization is going to be sp2. Okay, we know this is ketones. The, here the carbonyl compound is carbonyl carbon is sp2 hybridized. That is, it is going. The geometry of this is going to be trigonal planar. And if the geometry is trigonal planar, we know what will be present in this molecule. A plane of symmetry will be present. Okay, the entire molecule there will be a plane of symmetry that is present. So, if plane of symmetry is present, it is going to be a chiral. Okay, but when we add another group that is H minus to this compound, what I will get? I will get this chiral center. Okay, that is why this center, which was a chiral, it becomes chiral in a single step of an organic reaction that is why it is called as a pro pro means before okay before becoming chiral that is why this center is called as pro chiral okay similarly this is one type of pro chirality there is the pro chiral center can also be an sp3 hybridized carbon okay like this here this is what there are four sigma bonds so this is sp3 hybridized carbon and why this is all chiral because two groups are same since two groups are same, here also plane of symmetry will be present, and hence it is going to be a chiral. Okay, but if we do some substitution reaction and we replace one of the hydrogen with some other group, then it becomes chiral. Okay, then it becomes chiral. That is why this is also called as a prochiral center. Okay, so now let us see what is the application of ray and psi notation. So the application is. Initially, it is what it is a chiral. Initially, the molecule is a chiral. After the reaction, it becomes chiral. So, what we have to know is for the product that is formed, what is going to be the stereochemistry? So, what is the use of this notation, ray and psi notation? The application of this is to find the to find the stereochemistry of the product or the chiral center that is formed okay to find the stereochemistry of the chiral product okay and that depends on whether this is the nucleophile whether the nucleophile attacks from the ray phase or the psi phase so this notation is for the achiral center okay this notation is for the achiral center here it is going to be the sp2 hybridized carbon 
So how do you assign ray and psi notation? Let us see the steps. First step is assign priority to the three groups. Okay, priority to the three groups based on atomic number. Okay, the, this is same as that we do for the RS nomenclature. Okay, exactly the same as we do for RS nomenclature. Second, from 1 to 2 to 3, if the priority is clockwise, okay, if this is going to be clockwise, then it is going to be ray, or if it is anti clockwise, then it is going to be psi. Okay, this is, these are the two simple steps that we have to follow. So first what we will do, we will assign priority to these groups. So which will come first in the, uh, as, as per the atomic number, here we have oxygen. Okay, we have oxygen, carbon and carbon. So which will get the first priority? Oxygen will get the first priority because its atomic number is higher as compared to carbon. Now to this carbon, there is hydrogen, hydrogen and hydrogen. Here if we see this carbon is attached to these two hydrogen and one carbon. Now if we compare hydrogen and hydrogen is same, remaining is hydrogen and carbon. So which has higher atomic number? Carbon. So this is going to get the second priority and this is going to be the third priority. Now from 1 to 2 to 3, if you see what is the order it is clockwise so from the top if the if the nucleophile attacks from the top it is going to be ray and if we see from the bottom if we see from the bottom then it is going to be psi notation okay and now the question is this was assigning ray and psi notation now how do we come to know the stereochemistry okay let me erase this for finding out the stereochemistry, what we have to do is, I'll tell you, if, if the prochiral center, if the prochiral center, for that, if the notation is ray, then the product formed will be S. Okay, opposite, you can remember like this, ray, S, R, S. And if the notation for the prochiral center is psi, then, the stereochemistry of the product is going to be R. Okay, now let us see how this is going to be true. So here if you see H minus one, one possibilities, it attacks from the top. Okay, that is from the ray side. Then we will get this product. Let's say this is one. Okay, and if it attacks from the bottom, okay, if it is at, if it is attacking from the bottom, that is from the psi phase, then we will get this product 2. Okay, so now what we have to do, again we have to find out the RS nomenclature. So take the primary atom, O, H, carbon, carbon. Least atomic number is hydrogen, so this will get 4, oxygen will get 1. Now again here there, there are 3 hydrogens and here there is hydrogen, hydrogen and carbon. So 1 and this will get 2, this will get 3. Okay, so 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, it is what? Okay, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, if you see, it is clockwise. And clockwise, so it should be R, but you can see the fourth priority is on the wedge bond. So this is going to be S. Okay, the stereochemistry S. So you can see for ray notation, the stereochemistry is what? It is S. Absolute configuration is S. Now, similarly, let us find out for the psi. Okay, so here this is missing. What is here? Here there is OH. Okay, so now again we have to find out the priority. 1, this will be 4, this will be 2, and this is going to be 3. So again 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, if you see it is clockwise. And now the fourth priority is on the dash one. So the stereochemistry will remain same, that is R. So you can see for the psi notation, the absolute configuration is R. As we had seen here, if the uh, if the notation is ray, then the product stereochemistry will be S. And if the prochiral center, if the nucleophile attacks from the psi phase, then the absolute configuration is going to be R. Okay. 
Now let us understand this with the help of some more examples. So identify the, okay, so this is from which book I've taken from a very good organic chemistry book. This is called as John McMurray. Okay, this is the name of the author. Okay, can refer this book. I've already provided the, this book in the organic chemistry books video, best organic chemistry books video that I had made. Okay, you can check out that video and download this book if you want. Okay. So what is the question? Identify the indicated phases of the carbon atoms in the following molecules as ray or psi. So we have to assign ray or psi notation for this carbon here and for this carbon here. So it is simple. We have to assign the priority oxygen, carbon, carbon. So this will get first priority as oxygen is higher priority, higher atomic number. Here we have three hydrogen. Here this carbon is attached to hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. Now oxygen is higher priority than hydrogen. So this will get two, this will get three. Now one, two, 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 three, it is what? It is clockwise. So what is going to be the stereochemistry of the top phase? For the top phase, it is going to be ray. Okay, and for the bottom phase, it is going to be psi. Okay, similarly, we can find out for this carbon. This carbon, again, uh, we have to assign the priority H carbon carbon so this will get three now here we have hydrogen hydrogen and oxygen here we have hydrogen carbon okay hydrogen and carbon and carbon okay double bond means we can consider it as okay so here if we compare here there is only hydrogen and carbon since it is an sp2 hybridized atom Okay, or we can consider this as a carbon. So hydrogen, carbon, carbon. Here there is hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. So which has higher priority? Oxygen has higher priority than carbon. So which will get the higher priority? This will get one. Okay, and this will get two. So one, two, 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 three. Again, you can see it is clockwise. If it is clockwise, then the top face is what? Top face is ray and the bottom face is going to be psi. So in this way, you have to assign ray and psi notation. Let us see another question. The lactic acid that builds up in the tired muscles is formed from pyruvate. So from pyruvate, we get lactic acid. If the reaction occurs with the addition of hydrogen from the ray side, what is going to be the stereochemistry of the product? This is again a very straightforward question. We are seeing just now. If the attack takes place from the ray phase then the stereochemistry is going to be s and if the attack takes place from the psi phase then the stereochemistry is going to be r so what is the correct answer the attack is taking place from the ray phase okay re phase so the product stereochemistry is going to be s so the correct answer is what is going to be the stereochemistry of lactate it is going to be s lactate that is going to be the correct stereochemistry of the product. This is the last question. The cis aconitase catalyzed hydration addition of water. Okay, aconitase catalyzed addition of water. So aconitase is the enzyme and which is the reaction here we are adding water across the double bond. Okay, and we are getting this product. Does the addition of OH occur from the ray or psi phase of the substrate? Okay, so for that, what we have to do, we have to first find out, okay, so what we have to do, we have to find out whether OH is attacking from the ray side and whether H is attacking from the ray or psi phase. For that, we have to find out the ray and psi notation of this as well as this carbon. Okay, so let us first find out for the, for this carbon. So here there is carbon, hydrogen and carbon. So here it is oxygen, oxygen and oxygen. Here this carbon is attached to carbon, carbon and carbon. Which has higher atomic number? Oxygen. So this will be 1, this will be 2 and this will be 3. So what is the notation for the carbon number 2? This is 1 and this is 2. So for carbon number 2 it is 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, it is clockwise. Clockwise means it is going to be rephase from the top. 
Okay, from the top it is replace. Okay, now we have to find out for the other carbon. So here, okay, let me erase this. Okay, so for this, all the three are carbons. So we have to see the adjacent atoms. Here, all the three are oxygens. Here, two are hydrogen. Okay, this is a CH2 group, right? So two are hydrogen and one is carbon. For this, two are carbons and one is hydrogen. So which is going to get the first priority? Okay, if you see, all the three are oxygen. It has higher priority. So this will be one. And hydrogen, hydrogen, carbon. Here, there are two carbons. So this will get two. And this is going to be three. So one, two, 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 three, it is what? It is going to be counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, that means this is going to be psi phase. Okay, psi phase from the top. Okay, let me erase this. Okay, so now we have got the ray and psi notation. Okay, this is ray and this is psi from the top. Okay, so now we have to see OH, you can see it is attacking from the wedge. Okay, wedge means above the plane. So for OH, it is going to be reface. It is going to be reface at carbon number two. Okay, and if we see this hydrogen, it is attacking from the bottom. Okay, now from the top it is psi. Okay, one, two, three, and four and five. So we are talking about the third carbon. Okay, so it is psi from the top. So from the bottom it is going to be what? It is going to be ray. Ray from the bottom. So H is attacking from the bottom. So it is again it is going to be ray. Ray face at carbon three. Okay, this was for OH and this is for hydrogen. So this is the correct answer. Does the addition of OH occur on the ray or psi phase? So the correct answer is ray phase. What about the addition of hydrogen? Hydrogen is also ray phase. Do H and OH add from the same side of the double bond or opposite side of the double bond? So you can see this was from the top. Okay, this was from the top and this was from the bottom. So both H and OH are adding from the opposite sides of the double bond. Okay, you can also confirm from the stereochemistry. Here it is wedge and here there is dash. I hope you have understood how to assign the ray and psi notation to the prochiral center. What is the exact meaning of prochiral center? And what is the application of ray and psi notation to find out the stereochemistry of the product? Thank you so much.